Hi there. Um, okay, so this session is probably to be is going to be a little bit short. Um, but what I want to do is, um, yeah, continuing with um, continuing with um, start blind, um, which is my current Speggy project. Um, there's something I like to do. Uh, well, something that probably need to do in order to continue with this project. Just change the way I um, process the maps. Um, so currently, well, usually and currently, let's take a look to tile. So this is tiled. Tiled is the software that I use. Yeah, I probably should adjust this a little bit. Let's see. So, well, I mean, there are some layers in this side and because of the webcam, you know, you might not see everything, but mm, let me think, what can we do about this? Um, we can potentially, um, yeah, change, move this here, and that's fine. Right, so, um, this is tile that uh, you can find in mapeditor.org, uh, I think it is. Um, yeah, let's, let's take a look. Um, I think it's map editor. Yeah, so it's an open source um, map editor. Basically, you can get that on mapeditor.org. Um, and this is what I use to build my most most of the maps of my games. Well, most not all of them actually. Um, so yeah, here you can see my current tile set. Um, the map layer has is a tile map, and then I have entities that are basically objects. Um, so the difference basically is in the map, you have a matrix of you know a matrix of all the tiles. So you have a tile here that is it will have a number. I think this is one. And this one is tile zero here. While in the entities, there is an object layer. And basically, um, it has uh, different properties name. And instead of having a mat matrix where you have is basically different, the values of the object. So x, y, coordinates, y, height custom properties in this case, I usually have a parameter that can be one and zero and it says the direction that the um, entity is going to move, for example, and it's just a flag. Um, yeah, basically, you know, this is the tool I use to build the maps for the games. And, uh, what I use to let's move this here, so um, yeah, something like that, and then um, if I can manage to put this in the right place, okay. So um, so that is what I use. No, apparently I can't do that for whatever reason. Hmm. Well, it really doesn't matter. We can leave it like this, which is kind of okay, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, so um, yeah, so tile can save in different formats. My favorite format is um, is in JSON format. So let's take a look how it looks. Uh, so yeah, this is a this here is the um, is a tile layer. I call it map in this case. You know, 
so tile 16 we go back to tile uh, here so tile 16 is this one here see see that what I mentioned in the previous session that what I use is uh, a tile well I was mixing things the last time well I don't know I call everything tile uh, but that was a mistake. I mean, the tile is 16 per 16 character uh, pixels. See, 16 per 16 pixels, which is four characters. Each character is eight per eight. So in each character, you have two color attributes, ink and paper. Um, so uh, what I usually do is I let, you know, I limit the uh the map to uh four bits per tile so i can have 16 tiles uh and i can encode two tiles with one byte which you know it's just to save a space because uh with one byte you can encode 256 tiles but that's definitely too much i'm not going to use that so i limit that to 16 so this is the 16 tile um and this is well this is the first one uh, entirely zero, but then we move that into zero index uh, because it's better, you know, it's easier to manage in C. So, um, yeah, so 16 is the last one and then so on. And one is zero, basically. It's because somewhere there's a property that will tell us what is the if I recall correctly, or that's probably for the objects, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, tile height. Tile says first global ID is one. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. I mean, we know we have to change that because it starts in one. So this is a JSON file that I process with this script in Python. Uh, that uh, well, this one has quite a lot of stuff already that I plan to use. For example, it has this function here to pack text, which is kind of it's not really compression, but we're going to have 64 characters in this case. We can use six bit instead of eight, so we reduce this, the user space by the text quite a lot. Um, so this is the routine that's going to do that. This is the format of my map, of my map in memory. So I usually have you know, a number of maps. Well, I call them maps. Well, as we're going to see here, it's not really a map. It's a screen, really. Yeah. So it's really a screen or a room in a map. So basically, in tile, in tile, uh we have the size of the of the map let's say map and then when i import this i define the size of a room and this script what it does is split that map into rooms what i call you know i call them maps but it's actually a room in the map and this is because you know, um, initially this was used in a different game, then I keep iterating on the same idea, and I sometimes I keep all names for because it's stupid reasons, really. I should probably name things better, but, you know, that's the kind of stuff that <laughs> it's legacy, you keep that, because why not? Anyway, so that, the number of rooms, and each room has, you know, it, but this is something, a comment I have here for myself to remember um, how this works, but basically um, the length of the uh, map data. So, you know, there's going to be a limit of, because it's one byte, you can't have more than 256 uh, uh, bytes of data. Um, one byte for the tile set, because it's, this is useful and it's very simple. In my tile map, the tile set is basically uh, 
it tells me the offset on that. So the first line existing uh, tiles, that's a tile set zero. And then, so you can have different tile sets in different rooms if you want. Um, this is something that maybe I'm not going to use in this game, but for now, I'm going to leave it here. Then we have the map length in bytes. Uh, yeah, we need this because basically, I compress the map with UCL. UCL is an old version of um, of of soap. So, don't remember right now the name of the of the. Hmm. Let's take a look. Let's go to the. Let's take a look at the Wikipedia. Mm, right. So. This is not the browser I want. <laughs> it's okay, we can change that very quickly to use this one instead. Right, this is the first time I use the browser here, so. Mm. So, so let's take a look at the Wikipedia. Mm. Yeah, so I don't think UCL has uh, his face, but it's, it's used in UPX um, executable compressor or packer or whatever. Um, so UCL, uh, don't remember. What is the first version of? Ah, yeah, here. So, uh, so it's in the same family of. Of I can't really ah oh. uh, no it's not here mm. it was ls sf four yeah I think it's in the same family of this one so this should be a link so is this one yeah anyway. <laughs> It's one of these. Is you know is the is the iteration before this one? Yes, it's this guy. Um, it's called Mister Oberhammer. I don't know how to pronounce that. But this guy is really good, and he has an implementation before this. Um, but I think uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, the algorithm is not open source, but the library is open source. Anyway, that's what I'm using um, for compression. So, you know, it needs the map data and, you know, it would be a number of whatever compress. I compress the, the maps, basically. Um, and then there is a list of entity data, an array of entity data that it ends in the, you know, in a specific marker that is uh, 200. Uh, 55 or FFX hexadecimal. So that entity data will be uh, a number of bytes. You know, usually it's, it's a type. I reserve the highest uh, bit for the parameter, which is left, you know, in, in some entities, if it's, it means if that entity starts going left and right, and a few things like that. So that's just a list of string. You know, there is a lot of, you know, the this is not too difficult but what i want to do today and i better should start doing it is, and i will display things as i go is that um, for this project i don't really need uh, i don't really need to split the room the mapping rooms so we're going to start removing stuff that we don't need and hopefully it will work at the end so we don't really need the room. Um, we need um, so this should be like this. I think I don't remember exactly how this works. So argument parser it is now. What is this one? So, um, oh, 
Oh, because I need to provide, I need to put the art pass. Ah. Of course. So. Uh, well, oh, oh. Yeah, so this one. So we're going, we're using, and I think this is not going to be any good whatsoever because the documentation of of this is really good on the website anyway i think it's it says if this doesn't work we can change it but basically what i want is that um actually we can try that so let's see if we can do this one so did it work so yeah so now it expects a list of maps right and I don't think the whole this is going to work because if it's a list of maps so it can how can it can tell that the last one is going to be the ID <laughs> not completely sure so we're going to change the, the, the order um, so instead uh, we're going to ask for the ID first and then a list of maps it can be only one or it can be more than one so basically instead of splitting things in rooms um, what I want to do uh, is so uh, is you know store a list of, of different maps because because we're using scroll um, is I don't think I have a requirement of having the map continuous so because for example let's take a look of it of the map of an of an old project um yeah well you probably need to see that right exactly so let's take a look to the map of so this is an old project right so it's one single map but then uh i think i have a helper here so it's a split in this areas right which is rooms right this is what i call map in my game although in tile the map is the complete map here so the script was splitting in in these rooms in rooms um, but in this case i just want to keep one so this is going to be one map and there will be a b port here there's a small area that we're going to show on the screen and it, there will be um, scroll but then you will get somewhere and that communi will communicate with a different map so you change the map so it's more or less the same concept for, but instead of being one single map and um, one single map and then split into rooms we want to process the maps independently so I will have multiple files in open in tile instead so uh, I think most of this stuff is going to be way simpler because in this case it's going to be I don't need to move in the steps of the so previously what I have is, you know, I know what is the total size of the map in tile and I know the size of the room. So I kind of encode one of those, uh, I encode one of those blocks. Um, but instead in here, it's basically encoding everything. So, so for example, tile sets is going to be only one tile set obviously because we're going to have only one map so you're not going to be able to change the tile set in the map so we're going to group only one tile set instead of tile sets that doesn't make sense so it's going to be only one tile set now the current map And it's going to go into out so that doesn't make sense because there's going to be only one so here 
room height, room wide. So this goes away. Um, and instead of appending in current, it's going to be outerly. Um, yeah. So, and it's going to be x y so it's going to be like this and this is going away because so we don't need to encode one of those rooms we encode the complete map so we're just removing one two two levels of the inner loop basically and uh this looks okay i think then in empty, what I was doing here is looking for empty rooms because if there is an empty room, what I put is, you know, I, I output um, a map of the different, <laughs> a map of the map of the rooms. Well, it's a map. So basically it's an array where you have an index with a, with a pointer to the different um, rooms, right? Although I call them maps, but they are rooms. So in here is going to be it's going to be instead of block it's going to be out really so and I don't need to append anything so so this is going to be out because out used to be out used to be an array of, of rooms and we had to compress every single room not the complete map because uh, otherwise you will have to uh, uncompress in memory the whole map and it, that would be a lot of memory but in this case we need the whole map in memory because we're doing a scroll so um, sorry the whole map which is one single room I guess so in this case yeah, I get the out um, and probably I don't need this because this can go into out straight away. All right, sorry, what did I do here? Ah, because there was an append. Mm. So mm, this should be like this. We don't need this anymore. So this is compressing um, the output straight away. I have a binary that I built um, with a UCL library that is GPL. You can have it in most, uh, you know, you can have it in any Linux system really. You can install the package and just you have that tool. Um, then we have the map header. So the map header uh, is basically is adding this stuff we're talking about here. Um, so probably we may not need this. Why? Because no, we're going to need this. What a second! I think I make a mis I'm making a mistake. So in this way, we are encoding only one map, isn't it? So oh man, this is not quite right because we need to run this for every single map we have here isn't it so there's some stuff we have to keep here mm. well this is going to be complicated now but well, let's 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 remove that layer so we let's make one map and when it works then we can process you you know we can factor out that and run that same process for every single JSON file we get in the in the command line, right? So, do we need the map header? I think we do, but this is going to be in a different level because um, this is going to be out of that out, out of that function where we're going to grab and it's going to run for every single map. So, because we need to know. Do we really need this? 
Um, yeah, yeah, I think we do. But instead of going through every single map, this is going to be only one map, right? So we're going to have the so I think I did the and here, so I'm sure that size is one byte. Uh, <laughs> and this is completely this is not this is not good because I'm doing the and so this is never going to be bigger than 255 so we don't need this right otherwise this check is not what see we found the bug in the previous one and then out is going to be the size plus the tile set plus where are we having output I guess right and now we go through the entities and in the entities uh, we got all the entities and now this is going to be way simpler I guess because all the entities are going to be in this in this same room so here we have M which you know this was calculating what was the what was the map So we have to remove this, then we still need to do the module module here because if we don't do the module, what we're going to have, I'm not sure what is the, the operator preference here, but so I'm going to use the parentheses. Um, so we need that because we can't really use um the actual so let's take a look to the map again uh here so we can't really use the coordinates here because i'm using a byte to store see this one already goes over a byte i can't i can't fit 336 in one byte can i but if we know that the tile is 16, you know, we align that to, to the tile size 16 by 16. If you divide that by 16, then yeah, it fits in a byte. So that's perfect. So we're going to keep this. We're going to keep, uh, but do we need the module? The module, do we need that? And why I'm dividing this by two? Because I'm doing it 8 per 8. That doesn't make a lot. Oh, yeah. Well, that granularity, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. So we don't need this. Because that was to basically find what was the real X and Y for that room. But we only have one room here. So we don't need that. And we're dividing this by 2 because we're going to go to the granularity of, of being... Um, 8 per 8 instead of 16 per 16 and it's still fitting in one byte I think hmm I'm not completely sure about that that could be a bug but let's see then we get the 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 I don't know what I call this PID process ID no that's the entity ID but I call it PID hmm let's change that Maybe I'm changing too many things. I'm going to get in trouble. Now, entity count per map uh, is a dictionary of entities. That's not going to be necessary now. So it's probably, we don't need this anymore. So yeah, because now we only have one map, so. If we only have one map, one map, we can just have the entities and um, we don't need to update the entity count because we basically, um, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, we need to keep the count. So yeah, because I extend that so well I could divide by the number of elements that define an entity but that's not going to work because I suspect we're going to have entities 
that have extra bytes so they're not going to be it's not going to be so mm -mm -mm. so we call one entity here Ooh, ah. So we extend that. Sorry, this is is the entity ID now. Mm, actually, we can have syntactic here. Is it working? I see. No, it's not. Can I check? Does it work? No. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Well, I need to fix that because it's really useful to have syntax, syntax, you know, a linter analyzing your code before, mm, as you write code. So this is something, yeah, one special entity, which is a terminal, but uh, this is not being used for now. So I'm going to get rid of this for now. Um, so, so I'm looking for, uh, this is very simple, here we go over max entities and it's going to be one map for now. Uh, we're going to change that later because we're going to process multiple maps so yeah that's correct yeah sometimes i have sometimes i have a different weight for different entities because some of them you know if an entity for example um you know if the entities are useful for example to control the number of sprites you're using some entities might fire something or use an extra sprite so you can adjust and set a different weight for them like instead of one being two because it's going to use two sprites so now we append uh, the entities to the math data, which is simpler than this, I believe, because it's just, we just extend map entities, right? We extend the output and um, we append the marker of and of entities, right? So looks okay. Um, keep the, uh, we, we know what it is. Well, let's keep the comment, right? Then this is how I calculate persistence, which is based on the P, PID, which is the entity ID count. So we know how many persistence elements we have. We use one bit per entity. So we get the module eight here. So here we are basically generating stuff. I will explain a different day why do I do with this local and mambo jimbo because that's quite interesting. So include the map table for fast access. Uh, we are not going to do that, I think. Are we going to do that? We may need to do that, but not now. So, right, so this bit here. So, okay, so this is the map. This is the actual. So this is the actual map. So basically, it's an array where um, we don't need this for now. Uh, we don't need this. I mean, we, I don't expect this to work with the current code of the map anyway. So what I'm looking for is to see that it generates one map. And then we can iterate and have it generate more than one map. And then we will change the map renderer to read this data, which is going to be slightly different to the data we had before. So this shows a comment, just shows a few things. Now, this is similar to the case we had before. 
uh, because yeah, I'm building a string. This is probably not the best way of doing this, but anyway. So uh, for part in range, uh, so it was land the output. This is just to make a nice and split in. You know, make it look nicer. The generator, the 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 the, the C code we're going to generate. Uh, so this is seems correct, but this is not correct anymore. Uh, because it's out, uh, and this is not quite right because now this is going to be I don't know. Just something nice, 16. Are we going to have more than 16? Yeah, probably we do. So, 16. Um, yeah, because that was based on the on the room size and we don't have rooms anymore. So this doesn't make sense. And then see, uh, this is the map number and that doesn't make sense anymore because we are only working with one map and this was the count of entities and blah, 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 blah. I think it's probably okay. So let's take a look. So I have the microphone just in front of the... <laughs> okay, so now we have the ID, let's call it map and the first input is going to be this and of course that's wrong because now um, in here map JSON is a list but we know we're going to we're going to have only one just one for now Ooh. so I don't remember and uh, wait a second right and what is this complaint about list index out of range I'm going to do it like this so I don't keep swapping things and you probably don't see that so here right so this is actually um, yeah I changed you no that's not the right one 129 so I think I probably changed too many things which is in, the, in one go which is not a brilliant idea so there is an index of the range here uh, Map height. Oh, right. It's because map height and map width. What are those? Those are coming from data height and data width. Mm, and 20. Mm, So it's uh, JSON, JSON, 20, 32, 32 per 20, right? So from zero to that, the tile layer, hmm, and what was, it was in tile B. Right, it's because this has to be split by two because we're using um, so we're using uh, we need to get two ties in one byte right so basically this has to be half yeah we got past that <laughs> all right one five fifty eight uh, yeah yeah, again, uh, map size. We only have one map for now, so we don't need to say which map was that. 
map size is larger than 255. Is that right? Is that correct? Uh, yes, of course, because we didn't compress with UCL, right? And it's not going to work because we need to put that on the path. Um, so export path equals path and then tools, I think it was. Yeah, so we compress, that's great. So A, A, D, yeah, because we changed everything back here. Yeah, we're getting close. Again. <laughs> So that is in 177. Yeah, this is where we try the uh, map ent map entities uh, as entities. Yeah, I should have the linter. That's probably better. So. So this is going to be here, 220 bytes compressing 175. And um, I used to use a temporary name. So persistent length is three bytes, 21 entities, which is, yeah. Yeah, we get up to 24. So three bytes is just fine to hold. 21 and this is data and this is a terminator so everything looks okay so that will be one map assuming that is correct which which honestly we don't know yet <laughs> um okay so we can do this in different ways we could be wrapping all this stuff uh, the common code in, in a function and we can call it for every single file. That will be a way of doing it. So we can leave, well, let's do that. So the process map and then we're going to have the map name of map file and then we're going to need the arguments probably uh, or no yeah let me see Oof. ah well yeah we can do something like that it's not too bad. Um, so, so we probably get until you know we need to process the entities, and so just like that, uh, which is about right. Let's see. So instead of being like this. The start that we remove here is going to be uh, out is process. Um, so we have here out is going to be list for file name or what did I call that? I call that map file. That's okay. Just to have the same name. And um, well, that's probably too much. And do this. Um, so for each one of these in the list, we we st extend the list here. With process map and the map file, then 
well, using the font size that we're using at the moment is a little bit pain because I don't have a lot of space. But let's see what stuff do we have here using uh, the arguments and we can remove that. So, uh, so, and uh, max entities, right? Yeah, max ends. We can use that. And that's about it for now. So, mm -mm. we call it like that. Argument max entities. And in here, we need that property too. I mean, this is not great considering that right so boop, 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 boop. with this it should work the same no it doesn't work the same because something is wrong oh because right the entity count is something that Hmm. Well, we can do something here. We can do, which is basically like using uh, this is going to look like we're using uh, global variables, right? So. Um, we can do main run and change that to run and then yeah we're passing things we probably don't need to anymore we could have that in as part of anyway we can do this and do we need any? We probably don't. We don't. I just decided that we don't. Um, so these we can probably yeah, here because we don't care too much at the moment. Then we have few things now that few functions that are part of the class. So here and here. Do, 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 do. Right, that's correct. Ba, 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 ba. So another one here. And do, 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 do. so the a counter is self now yeah yes so that should be doing it no not really what what why is complaining about this Oh man. Anyway, main run is missing an argument. Yeah, because we need to create that. Process map is not defined. Yeah, because it's part of the class. Let's do it. Why well, just a little bit messy? Oh, get property is another one. Get property, another one is this self, and uh, that's another one I there was commented, so we keep going. So, yeah, this new this function needs to return like this. So, yeah, we still have one of them, uh, which is. 
Did I break that? Yeah, probably. Map ends. Yeah, because this has to be part of the map now. So, hmm. yeah. I mean, it's a little bit of planning. This could be easily avoided, but. This is basically a very awful <laughs> refactoring. So, so this is uh, yeah, of course. I mean, this is looking now not quite right, but it's okay because we're going to have the output and the map entities. Now, this is all correct. We're happy with this. But then all the stuff we change here, uh, we probably need to change it back, obviously, because um, we're going to have multiple, multiple maps here. So for uh, map out. <laughs> And then map and count in uh, out. Yeah, I mean, we're going back to what we had before, kind of. So it's going to be map out, right? So in this way, we had the output map out. This looks okay. So, too many values to unpack. Map out, map ends count in out and out was out. We know is going to be no, it's not, it's extend, no, it's append now because it's going to be a list of lists so yeah typo here and yeah so we're going back to where we were but now we have support for multiple maps so we can do another map and we have it's called map again map and map right so oh man so we have to go back to what we had before <sighs> so this is because we want to know that it's going to be why can we do this like this i'm not completely sure no we can't so Uh, so it's y and then map data we probably can do it in one go but map out and map end uh, counts and then map data yeah we're going back to the same thing now uh, <laughs> well we're doing i'm doing what we doing again what we undo right basically so now with this we have map zero map one correct that's what we wanted and now we need to go back to have the map of maps which is now correct instead of being the map of rooms which is basically this I think we can use that no we can because there is that empty thing which is not never going to be empty uh, so
it's going to be like this. So we have the map has the maps, map zero, map one, and it has two maps. Which mm, actually, let's take a look at it because it, this may even work. So in here, uh, the map was 30 and entities is the maximum UCL. So the syntax now has change so it's going to be um, so it's going to be map and then map json map json i mean for testing we are going to include the same map twice Let's force this to wheel again. Yeah, the generated thing is not correct. Um, so let's take a look. So generated map dot h. So it should be sixty two here, and this is not right. See, it's duplicated. So um there is something wrong we're doing here when we append things to out something here is not right because we get in the same we get in the same map twice hmm why is that should be it should be very obvious what's going on but i don't see right now somewhere return out append then well out should have map bytes map data and then the number of entities right so somewhere here we are I am doing things more than once so we enumerate the maps we get the index map data so we get the map data, it's map out the cones of entries, then we split in 16, so it's nicer to see. And then we have the part. Uh, then we set the entities, and then we have the bar. Ooh, I see what it is. This should be per map. Let's start with the file again, so we generate and it's going to crash Ooh, it didn't crash it loads something <laughs> it's not too bad um yeah i mean we're getting really close um but i've been working on this already longer than i was expecting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave it here uh and I will continue next time or perhaps I don't know I might fix this and then explain next session what was the problem but it's very likely that I have changed something here and uh, I haven't changed that in the map render and that's why it doesn't look right anyway it's getting close um, so I hope that with this, I will be able to um, load uh, load multiple maps uh, like this one here, um, and then when I can load multiple maps, then I will add a new entity um, that will link the maps. So when you step on that entity, we switch maps.
and then you know you start in a different area in a different I was going to say area now it's in a different map um, so you can keep moving and uh, you know that's part of the, of the game um, so that's something I want to implement next time so that's probably what is going to happen next time uh, see what's going on here with the render um, so the map works fine and then probably work on that entity um, so we can uh, link the maps so yeah it's been a nice session one hour we'll see you next time remember if you like it subscribe so you don't miss the next one and see you next time bye